Okay guys, if you have ever designed any steel structure, you know that to design that structure, we need to calculate different type of loads. Okay, and one of the very important load is wind load. Okay, and the main problem I have realized that during calculation of wind load, we need to deal with lots of coefficient like external coefficient, internal coefficient, or uh, they have some a uh, sign convention someone is positive someone is negative okay so it's a little bit confusing for me at least okay i don't know about you so i have decided that in this video i will discuss about how actually wind load act on any structure i will not discuss about the nomenclature or its sign convention simply i will try to demonstrate or i will try to explain how wind load actually acting over this structure okay so before diving into the topic if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon okay so let's start you know that as per Bernoulli's law if velocity is increased pressure will be decreased as simple as that okay so uh, we will use this first concept that if velocity is increased the pressure decreased okay and second concept we will use that is let's say you have a balloon with some internal air so of course it will have some internal pressure okay now if it is too much compared to the outer pressure what will happen the balloon will simply burst okay but what happened if the external pressure is if the internal pressure is greater than external one it will simply burst right what about this one if internal pressure is less compared to external one in that case the balloon will be sent okay right so now let's see what happened during any wind load so just consider this structure okay so for this particular wall what will happen here wind is flowing from left to right so simply let's say this is the wall it is standing above the ground and wind is acting over it so it's very simple the pressure will act from left to right there is no confusion okay now what about this face as the wind velocity in this surrounding is high due to the eddies formation what will happen in this particular zone the wind pressure will be reduced the external wind pressure will be reduced as the velocity of surrounding air is high as per Bernoulli's law now as the internal pressure okay we are assuming there is no such opening within the building so internal pressure due to the internal air is constant as external pressure reduced internal pressure start to dominate so what will happen here the internal pressure will act not the external pressure so here also you can see in this wall the load actually acting from left to right but this is due to internal pressure but here the load is acting from left to right but this is due to external pressure got the idea okay now what about the ceiling okay now the problem is for this particular phase okay the air pressure here is drastically reduced the external pressure reduced why the velocity in this surrounding air is very high okay so again in this case the internal pressure will dominate that is why for this slope right hand slope the pressure will act from bottom okay here you can see and this is again also due to internal pressure okay now the problem is about this particular slope okay depending on the slope let's say this slope is uh, near about 60 degree okay in that case the external pressure is dominating okay but let's say uh, here the slope is only 15 degree 
in that case what will happen the external pressure is very much low that is why the internal pressure will dominate in this case okay so depending upon this slope this external or internal pressure dominate right now let's say you have some opening within this uh, building what will happen okay so again here the wind pressure that is positive or external it is marked with red color and that is negative okay that is internal okay so let's say wind is flowing from left to right so simply for this particular wall what will happen here the force is due to external wind or external pressure okay and here in this wall this is due to yes due to internal pressure but as you have some opening here this wind will get entry into the house and it will also apply some external pressure from inside right okay now let's say the wind is flowing from this side but there is no such opening what will happen just like the previous cases only in this phase you will have some external pressure otherwise in all phases you have internal pressure okay so that's it if you like this video don't forget to share it